yung quotation na kilalang kil- alam na alam natin yung quotation na ito. Sabi nga, the way through a man's heart is through his stomach, di ba? Alam niyo mga guys, eh, guys, you love talaga, no? Love talaga yung eating, yung talagang just enjoying yung mga, uh, yung pagkain. So, kapag dumating si Mister sa bahay, uh, naghahanap agad yan. Anong ulam natin? Anong kakainin natin? Di ba? So, at uh, yung mga, mga soon to be married, usually, naghahanda talaga yan. One of the preparation is may alam siyang lulutuin. At least kahit tatlo o apat man lang. Right? So, ganun yung anak ko noon na at least may alam siya. Others are really making so much effort nag aral pa ng cooking. So, talagang mahalaga yung pagkain sa mag-asawa. Lalo na sa mga mister. Okay? punto siya sa mga mister. Sino mga mister dito? Ayan, be proud. Mga may asawa na dyan. Come on. Come on. Yes, be proud. You're married. Yes, mukhang kukunti lang umaamin dyan. Ha? May kausap ako? May nagtatago ba dyan? Alright? So, ganun ang mga mister, di ba? Connected kasi nga yung stomach sa heart. So, dito sa message ko ngayon, I want to give an emphasis on the connection of the blood and the presence of God. Let's have a short prayer. Thank you, God, for the blood and your presence. Thank you, God, that you will make our heart ready to receive from you. We pray, God, that you would just make us more hungry of your presence and give us a revelation of the power of your blood. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alam niyo sa Old Testament, uh, when if we will uh, look on the uh, sa Old Testament, yung si Adam and Eve, when they fall from their sin, nagkasala sila, of course, they have to go away. They have to be removed from the uh, paradise. At before they went out, God mercy and grace was upon them. Paano yung nakita? How was that shown? God slew an animal and let the blood be poured out. Uh, and because of that, si Adam and Eve, they were able to have the skin of animals to be their covering. Before, their covering is the glory of God. Nando, nakakover. So, hindi nila nakikita yung nakedness or hindi nila nakikita na parang hubad ako. Because the glory of God is their cloth, clothing. But that time, wala silang clothing. They are naked. But God doesn't want them to live like that. Because nakahanda na yung redemption that God had prepared for them. Sabi nga, Jesus is the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Meron ng plano ang Diyos. Kung sila'y magkasala, may option, may plano. We have a big God. Amen? Alam niya kung anong dapat gawin. So, yung kagad ang ginawa. So, there is that power of the blood there. Ganun din, when we see yung iba pang uh, mga sitwasyon sa Bible, yung isang sitwasyon doon is, uh, yung mga Israelita, they are going to go out of of the Egypt as a slave. And one of the plague na pinadala sa Egyptians sa Egypt is yung pinaka-eldest son or the eldest uh, animal would be killed. The spirit of death would come and they will be killed. Now, magkakaroon lang ng pagkakaiba sa house of the Israelites because they were given an instruction that they have to put the blood on, their do- on the doors and on the window. And when the blood is there, the spirit of death will pass out because the presence of God is inside that house and they cannot touch the people there. There is protection there. Amen? So we could see that there is connection, the blood and the presence of God. And also in the Old Testament, the high priest is the only one we, who can go to the Holy of Holies. Once a year lang, imagine. Isang beses lang silang pwedeng pumasok doon, and they sprinkled, sa Holy of Holies, they sprinkled the blood on the wall and all the utensils there to sanctify it, to make it clean. And uh, uh, 
ginagawa nila yun once a year. And kapag, uh, kapag yung tinatawag natin na uh, the priest went there, kailangan talagang siya mismo he has that uh, the blood of the blood of the lamb na talagang inappropriate niya for his own sin too or else pag nandoon siya sa holies of holies pwede siyang mamatay doon so we could see uh, the connection of the blood and the presence of god now i want us to read this verse ito po yung ating key verse this uh, afternoon sa hebrews uh, 10 Okay, buksan natin dito sa All right, yung first verse natin, Hebrews 10:19. It says here that Thank you Jesus, praise you Lord. Therefore, brethren and sisters, therefore bre brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. Okay, ngayon po hindi na uh, yung mga blood ng animal. It's just a picture of what will come in the New Testament. And now it's Jesus. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, we uh, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. So we could see here, we could enter the holy of holies, the most holy place, by the blood of Jesus. Mararanasan natin yung presensya ng Diyos through the blood of Jesus. So, of course, when we enter the presence of God, we do it by faith in the blood of Jesus. We don't enter... Uh, the, the presence of God by our good works, like, you know, ay, wala akong kasalanan, uh, mabuti akong tao, I did this, I did that. Hindi tayo, we cannot enter the presence of God with those things that we uh, did, the good things, but we can only come to His presence and we will be, and, and uh, have that confidence if we have faith in the blood of Jesus. Sabihin nga po natin, faith in the blood of Jesus. Doon lang tayo makaka-enter. Now, of course, when we receive Jesus Christ in our heart, we receive Him, we, we, we were forgiven, and we receive the presence of God. Di ba? Sabi nga, uh, sabi nga, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Nandyan siya, nandyan ang presence niya. But God is offering more than just that presence. Merong open way for us to experience the powerful presence of God Yung tinatawag na tangible presence of God. Amen? Kung titingnan natin sa uh, Bible, sa Old Testament, normal lang to sa mga men and people that uh, people of God mightily used by the Lord. Common lang sa kanila yung mga nararanasan na, na tangible presence of God. Uh, halimbawa si Abraham. Abraham experienced the tangible presence of God when he offered his son Isaac to be uh, a sacrifice. And God showed himself, nung makita na he passed the test, uh, nagpakita, ang angel, uh, nagpakita, hinawakan ng angel yung kanyang kamay at nag-provide ng ram para hindi yung anak niya. God provided for him. So, that's his encounter. And marami siyang encounter then. The Lord showed to him the Das, uh, nung nagsasabi siya, Lord, wala akong anak. Wala pa akong anak. Pinakita ng Lord yung uh, the millions of stars and the millions of sun that sabi niya, this is how your descendant would be. Pinakita niya na yung future. These are mga tangible na pagpapakita ng Panginoon sa atin. And of course, uh, nandyan din si, si Abraham, andyan si... Isaac, si, Moses, si Jacob, si Isaac, na kung, uh, nakakita ng mga angels, si Jacob, with the star on the ladder, coming up and down, at ganun din yung uh, si, si, si Moses. So many 
So many times Moses had experienced encounter with God or the tangible presence of God. Pag sinabi po nating tangible, it is yung parang nararamdaman mo physically with your senses. Nakikita mo ng mata mo at nahahawakan mo o maaring talagang, you know, you could feel it. You know that He's there. At yun ay napakahalaga. Napakahalaga nun. Si, si Moses, naranasan niya ito several times. Like, you know, si Moses, when uh, sinabi ng God sa kanya, Okay, I'm going to bring you to my, the promised land. I'm going to send you with my angels. And you will go to that, uh, to that place of plenty or milk with milk and honey. You will go there and you will, you will conquer and uh, you would be able to overcome yung mga kalaban mo. The Kaanan, Kaanites, parasites, at kung ano-ano pa. Sabi niya, but my presence will not go with you. Sabi niya. So, sobrang nalungkot si Moses because sa kanya, yung mawala ang presensya ng Diyos, parang ikamamatay niya. You know? Kung sanay ka sa presence ng God, kanina ka... Kahapon lang isa sa mga estudyante sa Kabanatuan sa Bible School. Sabi niya, problema daw sa kanya kapag hindi niya nararamdaman ang presensya ng Diyos. Para daw siyang mamamatay. Sabi niya, wow, sabi niya, pastora, pag wala yung presensya ng Diyos, hindi ko nararamdaman, parang wala lang. Uh, talagang para akong mamamatay, problema sa akin yun, sabi niya. So, that's how she is passionate for the presence of God. Si Moses ganun Sobrang kapasyonate niya sa presence ng God. Sabi niya, God, if you're not going with me, if you are not going with us, how would people know and distinguish what's the difference between the people of the world and kami as your children? So he's so passionate na he cried to God, kung hindi ka sasama sa amin, wag na lang, hindi na lang kami pupunta. And sa sobrang sidhin ng napagnanais niya, sabi niya, God, show me your glory. Show me your glory. And God had shown him. Ano yung pinakita sa kanya? Ano yung tangible presence ng God ron? He saw the back of God. God said, okay, my mercy and goodness will pass over you. You will see my back, but you will not see my face. And that's the tangible presence of God. Amen? Come on, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We have to desire that kind of tangible presence in our lives. Dahil that solidify our faith. That really push us more for more of God. That would really make us more, God, you're so real, God. Lord, I love it. I love it. Sabi nga ni, ni David Rito sa kanyang prayer, yung kaninang kinanta natin, uh, sabi niya, uh, better to be in your house. One day in your house is better than a thousand elsewhere. Sabi niya, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to be somewhere else. Ganon siya kapassionate sa, sa kanyang relationship with God. Sabi niya sa, sa Psalms 42, sabi niya, uh, my, uh, as the deer panted for the water, so my soul panted for you, my living God. Sabi niya, my flesh and my heart cried out for the living God. Alam mo ba yun? Nararamdaman mo yun eh, sa senses mo, na gusto mo yung presensya ng Diyos na yun. Sabi ng awit kanina sa atin is, sabi, only, we can only be satisfied by the presence of God. Totoo po yan. Totoo yan. Pag naranasan mo ang presensya ng Diyos, natikman mo, Parang gusto mo laging meron noon at hahanap-hanapin mo yun. You, you will love His presence at hindi mo yan ipagpapalit kahit kanino. Amen? Nung isang nung Thursday din, nung nasa kabanatuan ako, midweek service, yung isang girl, she just got married for siguro six months na ngayon. At may, may ilang times na hindi siya nakakaten ng service. Lumapit siya after, after that sa altar at nagpa-pray siya. Sabi niya, pastora, miss na miss ko na si Lord. Sabi niya, sobrang miss na miss ko na siya. So ganun, yung cry niya because naramdaman niya 
nakita niya at naranasan niya yung presence ng God that not even your marriage, not even your husband could give that unto you. Amen? It's only God who can satisfy the longing of our hearts. And once we satisfy Him, we will be satisfied ourselves. Amen? Come on, give the Lord a praise for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O God. So, of course, kaya kailangan natin to talagang it solidify our faith, encourage us, push us to really uh, have more of Him. Hindi po natin hinahanap lang yung encounter, okay? Hindi yun ang focus natin. Kundi the presence of God. Kundi God Himself. Naalala ko when I was uh, attended the conference sa Singapore, I was just really so, uh, you know, expectant and hungry for God na tuwing worship, dun sa conference, thousand of people yun, ano? Nakikipagunahan ako dun sa harap. Makaupo ako sa harap o kahit nandun lang sa, sa ano lang. Like, you know, walang upo, andun lang. I'll just sit there or bow down there or just worship God. At during no altar ministry, nakikipagunahan din ako na pumunta doon. Ba, sayang to ah. I spent a lot of money going there tapos walang mangyayari, hindi ba? You want the presence of God. You want all that you can have for God. So when I was there, I wa- we were prayed of ang daming mga tando na nakaline up to be prayed for. At nung nag- pinag-pray ako, talagang I-, I sense yung presence ng God. Not only that, naramdaman ko something is coming out of my my fingers. Like, you know, may uh, mga tips ng fingers ko. And I feel like there's water coming there. Tinatouch ko siya, there's water. Water, God, this is the living water. Thank you for the living water, oh God. Nararamdaman ko talaga. And I have to look at and see, wala naman. And then I would, again, uh, pray to God. At mararamdaman ko ulit. And so that's a tangible presence of God. Amen? And we can experience that. Kahit sino, pwedeng makaranas yan. However you want to. Nung minsan, naalala ko rin si Sister Eileen, I think, na, na ikwento niya, minsan na talagang nagpipray siya at talagang yung tangible shower of rain, tama ba? Naranasan niya during her prayer time. Sabi niya, pastora, totoong-totoo. Talagang, talagang nararamdaman ko nababasa ako. So when you are deep na nandoon na kayo talaga sa ano sa paghahanap niyo kay Lord, you would experience more than that. Marami pa tayong mararanasan na hindi pa natin naranasan. Konti pa lang nararanasan natin sa Panginoon. Amen. Be hungry, be thirsty for God. May mga iba nakaranas na talagang yung feathers, you know, the o kaya may mga uh, parang dust of gold o may iba pa pang mga tangible presence of God na sinasabi rin to sa Biblia. So many na mga tangible presence of God ay pwede nating maranasan and we just have to be hungry and thirsty for God. He could um, uh, allow you to have His presence yung habang natutulog ka. Maaring sa dreams o, oh, you know, uh, maraming kaparaanan ng Diyos. Sometimes I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm crying because I felt the presence of God. Sa gitna ng problema, I'm crying, pero alam ko, nandun ang presence ng God. So, yun ang mahalaga. So, may, may mga times po na ganun. At kahit walang ako problema, when I wake up sometimes at the middle of the night, I feel His presence. Napakasarap po. Napakasarap. So, it's a privilege to have those mga experiences in our lives. So, dito it says here that, So, ano ang benefits ng ating ng presence ng God? Of course, uh, when you live in the presence of God, nandiyan ang joy, peace, strength, satisfaction, fulfillment, assurance, confidence. At yan yung, yung, you have a love relationship with your Creator. Yun yung napakasarap na mararamdaman natin. Even our flesh and our heart would cry to the living God. Madadaman natin yan by our by the senses. Sometimes, maaamoy mo siya, you know? Minsan, uh, sometimes, yeah, I remember na minsan, 
I was in the presence of God. Nag-spend ako ng time in, my, in the presence of God. I just sense that uh, a very good smell of the flower. At I have to look around and open the window and find out, may flowers ba rito? May halaman ba? Wala naman. And then come to find out, ang tagal ko na pala na nandun sa presence ng God, nagpipray, kinatok na ako ni Pastor Rich. Sabi niya, Ning, alis na tayo. Sabi mo, one hour ka lang. Tatlong oras ka na dyan. <laughs> So, sabi ko, wow, grabe. Parang uh, ayaw mo talagang umalis when you, as, when you sense that the presence of God is there. So, let's open uh, our, uh, let's read the verses here. Sa... Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So balikan natin yung ating balikan natin yung ating Hebrews 10. Let's uh go back there at doon tayo medyo magtatapos. So again it says here therefore brothers and sisters since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. Verse susunod. Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart. And with the full assurance that faith brings, having a heart sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. So dito makikita natin na the blood of Jesus is able to bring us to his presence. And it says here, let us, uh, having a heart sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience. Alam nyo, pag meron tayong guilty conscience, di ba? Ang hirap pumasok sa presence ng God. Nandun yung accusation ng kaaway, nandun yung lies ng enemy. And how do you deal with that, di ba? So we have to apply the blood of Jesus. God had already, God had already provided the sacrifice. God had already uh, given His Son as a sacrifice for us. His blood is able to cleanse us. Binigay na niya. Sa palagay niyo, sino yung dapat na na gumamit noon? Paano yan? Sino yung mag apply ng blood of Jesus na yan? Tayo po ay, uh, dati sa Old Testament, priest lang ang pwedeng pumunta doon sa high places, sa sa inner place, inner holy of holies. But praise God! Amen? Praise the Lord! We are now royal priesthood in God. We are all priests of God. We can enter in His presence by faith in His blood, and we have to, tayo na yon. We will apply the blood of Jesus in our lives, in our hearts, sa mind natin, may mga accusation, minsan may mga shortcomings kang nagawa, o may palpak, or uh, you know, nag-react ka, or uh, parang merong conviction ng Holy Spirit sa heart mo not to do those things, but you still did it. And uh, it's so hard to really, it's hard to enter His presence, even to do yung mga dapat gawin kung meron kang mga ganong guilty conscience. So, sino yung mag apply ng blood of Jesus? Amen? So, sino mag apply ng blood ng Jesus? Amen? Yes, ako. Tayo. Tayo yung mga priests of God. We will apply. The blood of Jesus in our hearts. Sometimes, you know, katulad si Adam and Eve, di ba? Nung magkasala sila, nagtago sila. Because of the guilty conscience. Sometimes tayo ganun eh. Hindi naman yung church o yung mga kapatiran ang umaalis, di ba? Ikaw yung umaalis. Andito lang naman talaga yung presence ng God. Andito lang naman talaga yung mga kapatiran mo. Pero sometimes, ang feeling mo, parang, parang, Maaring, uh, maaring ang feeling mo ay uh, like ayaw mong magpakita, nagtatago ka katulad ni Adam and Eve na nagtatago. Hindi yun makakatulong sa atin. Amen? We need to apply the blood of Jesus in our hearts and in our lives. We have to sprinkle, sprinkle our hearts with the blood of Jesus so that we would, have, we would be... Uh, uh, mawawala yung guilty conscience in our hearts and we would be able to
to enter His presence. So this afternoon, I just want us to stand up. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So this afternoon, I, I want to make a challenge today. A challenge of applying the blood of Jesus. So ano man yung mga maaring nararamdaman natin ngayon, Let's just close our eyes. Let's just focus on God. Focus on the message. Thank you, Lord. If there are some guilty conscience, maaring uh, you feel condemned, accused, or maaring ikaw ay uh, parang parang uh, you feel like na hindi ka karapat dapat sa kanyang presensya because of the things you did tayo po ay hindi perfecto nagkakamali and yet we can come to God and we can apply the blood of Jesus in our lives so sa oras pong ito just want you to I just want you to just talk to God talk to Jesus apply that blood in your heart maring may mga guilty conscience accusation or lies just Ask God, Lord, forgive me, cleanse me, cleanse me, God, from all of my sins. Forgive me, God, for all of my unrighteousness. I applied the blood of Jesus over my life, over my heart. Thank you, God, for the cleansing power of your blood in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence of God, presence of God in my life. And if you want, even right now, I want to make another challenge. You want to seek God more. You want to seek His presence. You want to know Him more. You want more of Him. I just want you to raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. If you want more of God's presence, if you want to experience Him more in your life. You want to hear His voice. You want to, your senses to be, uh, your, your spirit, your senses to be so sensitive to Him, to the things around you. Yes, as we raise up our hands, believe God. Believe God. Believe God right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O God. Thank you that your blood is able. Thank you, God, that we can enter your holy of holies, O God. There is so much more that you want us to experience in our lives. Father, I pray, even as we surrender our lives to you, God, have your way, O God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. In the name of Jesus, I apply the blood right now. And I thank you, God, that I can enter your presence in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. God, I pray, even right now, tangible presence of God. Tangible presence of God over this place. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Even as we worship the Lord, just pray, Father that you would just meet each one, God. They would sense that you are loving them, God, that your arms are around them, oh God. Lord, I pray the tangible presence of God to be upon them, Lord, that they could sense that you are here in the name of Jesus. Come on, worship God. Worship God with all our hearts, with all our soul. Thank you. 